When I was in high school, I would spend hours roaming through blogs online. Fashion blogs, artist blogs, even cooking blogs, and I didn't even cook. I loved exploring the way people designed their websites and learning new information. And I spent hours, I mean hours on these, let alone hours on Pinterest discovering these blogs. So it has something to say that a blog is a pretty powerful tool for your brand. But does your brand need a blog? The answer to that is, well, no, it doesn't need one. If you don't have the time or the space to create really valuable content, I don't think having a blog is worth it because you need to put the time into it to get the return that you want. However, if you do have the time and space to create a blog or even pay someone to run a blog for you, I totally think it's worth it for your brand. Here are just a couple reasons why I like a blog. First of all, it's super easy to get to. It's direct to your website. People stay on your website longer, which is huge when it comes to the website game. We want people to stay on your website as long as possible, roaming through articles so that they can continue to grow trust with your brand and get attached to you so that it's really easy to go over to your product page and push, and push purchase. Not only does it keep a customer on your site longer, but the content is really easy to share. If I find a blog post that I love and I know that my friend Mary would get a huge kick out of it, it's easy to copy and paste it, throw it in a text message or an email and send it her way. Now you've got two new people checking out your website. The other reason I love blog content is it's easy to reuse in other aspects of your marketing. For example, you can take a blog post and use a blurb of it as a caption on Instagram. You can read the blog out loud and turn it into a podcast. You can share the links on social media or link them into your email newsletter. Heck, you can take an email newsletter and turn it into a blog post. That's what I do. Every week I take my newsletter and turn it into a blog post that publishes one week after the newsletter. That way, if anybody else wants this information, they can find it. But it's also great for the people who are on my newsletter list because they have the ease of having it sent directly to them and they get it one week before anyone else. So just like that, one blog post can be turned into three, four, five different ways of using content and you can reuse it again months later. Blogs not only allow you to reuse content, but they also allow you to get discovered with something called SEO or search engine optimization. Now, search engine optimization is the way that you find things when you're Googling something, typing in something to Yahoo or Bing or DuckDuckGo. When you type into a browser, local sustainable brands, or how to do a certain yoga pose, and you get all these results, those results were found through SEO, and you wanna be on the top ranked page for those results. Now, of course, you can always pay for ads like Google Ads or on Bing or any of the other platforms to get one of the top three standings, but it's great if you can get there organically and save a few dollars. To do this, you wanna make sure every blog post you create has one dedicated keyword or keyword phrase for the blog post. For example, if somebody was searching how to do Warrior 2, you would want your keyword phrase to either be how to do warrior two or warrior two yoga poses. Then throughout your blog post, you wanna be using that keyword or phrase. Use it five to seven times in your copy and your copy should be at least 300 words or more. You'll also wanna use it in the title of your blog post, in any of the headings throughout your blog post and add it to the alt description of your images. Again, you're only using one keyword or phrase in any of your blog posts. By using SEO as a tool for your blog post, you'll more easily get discovered through search engines. Now that's not the only place you can get discovered. You can also get discovered on Pinterest. I will preface this by saying that if Pinterest does not hold your ideal customer, it doesn't make sense to, to put the time and energy into building out a Pinterest account. So go look at your demographic and look at the demographics of Pinterest, which is usually females between the ages of like 20 to 40, and see if they're a good fit. If they are, 
then I definitely recommend building out a Pinterest account and starting to publish your posts over on Pinterest. Your next question might be, so what do I even write about on my blog? Well, this is where having an FAQ or collecting questions or comments from your customers is really powerful. You wanna be answering the top questions of your customers because that's what they're searching for on Google. So whatever that you hear all the time, the questions you answer a million times a day, write a blog post about it. That way, if somebody emails in and asks that same question, you can just send them over the link. I like to keep a running dock of questions that come up or things that pop into my head that I think would make great blog content and then build that out later. Building a blog doesn't have to be complicated and it doesn't have to take up your entire week. I suggest publishing at least one blog post a week. If you don't have the time or space to create your own blog posts, or maybe you don't feel like you're a really strong writer, that's totally okay. There are a million people out there who would love to write blog posts for your brand. Whether you pay them or create a partnership with an already loyal customer, there are many ways that you could be building out your blog posts without using your precious time. Let's review. Why do I think you should have a blog for your brand? Because you create content that's easy to share and reuse on all of your social platforms. You build out the ability to have search engine optimization or to get discovered on places like Pinterest. It keeps your customers on your website for longer, building trust and encouraging them to make that purchase. And of course, it answers commonly asked questions, so you don't need to waste time rewriting the same answers over and over again, but just sharing a link that provides all of the information in one easy place. If this hasn't convinced you to go start a blog, I don't know what will, but I do think that having a blog for your brand is a huge way to enhance your marketing.